Everyman Driver Nation, what's going on? Welcome back, I'm Dave Erickson. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm very excited to share with you this 2018 Mercedes-Benz GLE 350 4Matic, a midsize luxury SUV with seating for five. And today, we're gonna take a closer look. But before I begin, a big shout out and thank you to my friends and partners at Auto Nation and Mercedes-Benz of Bellevue for the loan this week. You can find all their contact information in the description below this video. Let's kick things off with the exterior. The GLE advances the state of SUV style. Shapely headlamps integrate LED daytime running lamps and frame its wide grill. The deep front bumper features large air intakes and a sporty twin power dome hood and sculpted front fenders flow nicely into an iconic profile that says Mercedes, culminating in a wraparound rear styling with concealed roof pillars and LED tail lamps. You may notice glistening chrome highlighting its skid plates, double grill bars, door windows, and rear bumper load sill. All combined equals a bold design with brilliant details. The GLE 354 Matic is powered by a 3.5 liter V6 mated to a seven speed automatic transmission. This kicks out over 300 horsepower, 273 pound feet of torque, and can tow over 7,000 pounds. Fuel economy, 18 city, 22 highway. Inside, you'll find a richly crafted cabin, hand finished wood, hand fitted upholstery, and subtle metallic details define a cabin that's generous with room, refinement, and advancement. You'll find crisp, clear gauges flanking a vivid color multi-informational display in front of the driver while its 8-inch color screen takes center stage atop the dash. Standard amenities are abundant from heated front seats with memory to a power liftgate. Here's a look at your real-world backseat legroom and headroom from a guy who is 5'11". Again, this is a mid-size luxury SUV, so take that into consideration and then be happy of how much room you have. Here's my position as a driver up front. I've got about that much room between my knees and the back of the seat, so that's really good. Uh, headroom is fantastic as well. You can kind of see here probably an indent in the roof line to allow more headroom, but even at my height, I still have maybe two, three inches to grow, and that would be good. Uh, I do like the fact that they have a sunscreen here, a moonroof, so create some more space and some more light. Otherwise, the cabin is quite cavernous as it is. And really cool leather seat, the fold-down armrest here. This is a 60-40 split. I'll show you more with that on the cargo volume demo. A pair of cup holders there. Cubby holes, netting behind the driver and passenger seat for storage. Pretty decent. Cargo-wise, the GLE can handle up to 80.3 cubic feet of cargo volume with a 60-40 fold-down back seat. By flipping forward the seat cushions, you'll have a truly flat, fully carpeted cargo floor. There's also floor-mounted tie-downs, a side parcel net, and a 12-volt power outlet adding for your convenience. Here's how simple it is to fold down the back row seats. There's a strap that you pull here next to the seat cushion. It lifts up the entire seat cushion on this side, and you can do the same thing on that side. Then one tab here, and it lays flat. The GLE features a standard 7G Tronic automatic transmission with shift paddles. So it's a seven speed automatic, which is very smooth, responsive and efficient. A wide range of closely spaced ratios delivers the ideal response in virtually every driving situation from relaxed cruising, quick acceleration, and thanks to two overdrive ratios, better highway fuel efficiency. Adaptive logic adjusts the shift points to match your driving style while the shift paddles on the steering wheel let you enjoy manual style control at any time. A couple of safety things I want to point out. It has active brake assist. 
This is a radar-based technology that can alert you if you're approaching a vehicle ahead or even some stationary objects at a speed and distance that suggests a collision is likely. As soon as that driver starts to brake, the active brake assist can automatically provide an appropriate level of braking to help you prevent a collision or reduce its severity. Secondly, something that's called attention assist. The first system of its kind, this continuously monitors up to 70 different parameters of driving behavior and can automatically alert you with both visual and audible warnings if it detects signs of drowsiness by you on long trips. With enhanced sensitivity, the system can also help detect drivers who begin their trip drowsy and offer more useful information to you along your journey through a dashboard display. Pretty cool. Naturally, you have a rear view camera when you shift it in reverse. A rear mounted camera displays a live 180 degree view of what's behind you on screen and active on-screen guidelines indicate the car's path as you turn the steering wheel. And one more standard safety feature, a Mercedes-Benz First, it's called Pre-Safe, and it can detect instability during certain vehicle maneuvers that suggest a collision or rollover might happen. It can then tighten the front seat belts, adjust the front passenger seat, and close the windows and sunroof, all in an effort to better prepare you and your passengers in the moment before a collision. If no accident happens, the seat belt tensions reverse and you simply readjust your seat, open the sunroof and continue on your way. So the base MSRP here on this 2018 Mercedes-Benz GLE 354 Matic is 54.7 as tested 62.8. It's definitely worth a look and absolutely a test drive. Again, a big thanks and shout out to my friends and partners at Auto Nation and Mercedes-Benz of Bellevue for the loan this week. You can find all their contact information in the description below this video. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson with Everyman Driver. Thanks so much for watching. Drive safe. Adios.